Well, right now, Etna is the hottest region in Italy. Mount Etna is located on the eastern seaboard of Sicily. This is an area that, after World War II, a lot of people immigrated. They left the vineyards. They abandoned a lot of them. There were some stalwarts holding out in the 90s, but really it was the arrival of some outsiders in 2000, including Marco de Grazia of Terranari, who kind of kicked this off. So we've seen Etna go from pretty much a wine region no one was talking about to our number nine wine of the year in less than 20 years. Part of what makes Etna so interesting is that it's an active volcano. So even if you're not seeing lava flowing every other day, every year there's some smoke, there's some ashes, and you will occasionally actually get lava flows. And that means that you have these vineyards that are just a patchwork of all the different lava flows. And if you're a wine geek and you're into studying terroir and you like to look at wines that are from vineyards right by each other and show totally different expressions, this is one of the greatest places in the world to go and explore that type of experience. What I really loved about this was the beautiful harmony of the wine. This is made primarily from Nerola Mascalese, which is a very tannic variety. And you find the tannins here, you find that structure, but it also has so much expression. You get a lot of herb and floral notes, definitely a, a pure cherry note, and kind of this underscoring minerality from the volcanic soil. This year, I tasted more than 1,500 wines from Italy, all the way from the Alps in the north down to the toe of the boot, and Sicily just across the way. This was one of my most exciting wines of the year. When you're talking about this upcoming wine region that's really just emerging for the first time into the world wine scene in the last 10 years, and then you're talking about an expert winemaker and an advocate for the region, all together, that's what makes this wine our number nine wine of the year.